So here we go, new project time. This I believe is a GD Galant 76, uh, two door hard top. Okay. Well, here it is in all its glory. I've had this for a couple of months now. It's not my car. It's my partner's car and I was waiting to sort of get a few other things out of the way and it's time to start on it. I guess this is a sentimental build. I believe her first car was one of these. It was, I think it was even a hard top. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool shape. This one's obviously not the cleanest example. I don't know how long it's been off the road for. There's a, that came with a stack of parts. I picked this up from Sydney a couple of months ago. Nice young bloke up there. Had bought it with the intent of doing it up and I think he moved on to, to other things. So here we go. I suppose we'll do a quick walk around uh, show the features and what it needs. The last one I did, well, the last full rebuild I did on a car was the was my 77 or 78 Tirana hatchback. Uh, there's a few videos from a few months ago uh, on that. And when I got that car, it was in probably worse condition than this one. Um, Certainly rust-wise, it was, it was a lot worse than this. Uh, it was a lot less complete. It didn't have a lot of the glass and uh, hatchback-specific Tirana stuff. So this one's um, probably a, a better starting platform than that was. That being said, this isn't an oil painting. Uh, it's got some questionable bodywork here. Um, I don't know what's going on, but there's, there's patches of bog and Moose and filler and crap all over it. Uh, there's bits of... Looks like the roof's got some sort of primer on it. Bits of bare metal in other spots. These guards are in basically in bare metal. Uh, the bonnet's really rusty. Not sure it's, it's obvious, but there's a, there's a hole there and all along the, the top there. It's flogged out, so... Um, I've no doubt that this is going to need the body the bonnet's going to need significant work. It's, I think this is off a different car. It's um, you can see it's gold on the inside here. There's also plenty of rust up there and some more over there. Another view of that lovely hole. Yeah, it's um, it's gold. So I don't think this is off this car. This car was originally white, I believe. Um, certainly the engine bay is white, and in all the other cavities door jams and whatnot, it's white, so I think that's probably what it was. But yeah, this is all fairly complete in here. Uh, it all looks to be there. If you've been watching some of my other videos, there's actually two other Galants I've got, uh, which were bought, well, the first one was bought as a, as a, as a project to do up and but the passion was really for a hard top. So when this one popped up, she jumped all over it and brought this one home. And one of the other cars will be a parts car and the other one might get up, get done up further down the road. But um, this being the GD, the later one, it has this detail here. Not sure if it shows up on the, on the camera, but you can see that the bonnet has this this nice raised detail that goes down the middle of it and continues on to the skull there. You can't really see it because it's all a bit rough, but there's a there's a nice detail that goes here and and here, and that continues on down the bonnet. So the other two, the point of that is that the other two bonnets that I've got are different to this one. So this one's going to get fixed, um, which is going to be a pain in the ass because, like I said, I think it's. It's sort of rusty all over and it's, it's, it's got a lot of dings back here. So I think it's, it's going to be a mission to get this one straight. 
but I'm sure we'll get there. Um, here's a hole here from where the, the, the antenna used to mount. Came with these nice wheels. Got them on another set of them on one of the other Galants. The rockers, they're a bit a bit crusty. Um, but I'm not, not gonna find out. Won't know how bad they are until I start stripping it back, sanding it all out and seeing what's underneath. It's got all the glass, which is cool. That is the look right there. So yeah, these things are I wasn't even aware they were a thing until uh, until this one, well, until the hunt for this one started. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a terrific shape. A real little sporty car, so definitely worth saving. Uh, the doors don't appear too rusty. Not great, but in the boxes of parts, Maybe a little bit of rust down there, but not too bad. In the boxes of parts, there's all the all the jewellery and bits and pieces for this. Don't have door cards or anything like that, but that's not a stress. Got the seats, and they're um they're the proper seats. They're the ones that that fold fold forwards to get in access to the rear seat. I don't know what sort of model this thing was, but there's some nice detail on the on the seats there. They're obviously flogged out, and they need recovering, but. Pretty good, and you can see on the on the rear there, underneath the the window, there's that, that same that same emblem on the trim, which looks cool. Dash looks good. We'll check that out from the other side. Floor shift manual car doesn't come with engine or gearbox. I uh, didn't come with any of that. Floors probably not too bad. It's got this horse emblem Mustang style thing up there I suppose for rust this is the worst of it this is passenger side rear quarter it's completely flogged out inner and outer so I'll see how combat compatible the, the four-door Panel is, but most likely I'll, I'll cut some cut some steel out of one of the other cars, the parts car, and graft it into this one. So the back, you can see the exhaust hanging down. It's just sort of been dragging on the road, dragging on the trailer, and dragging on the driveway, making my life as crappy as possible. So I need to get under there and cut that out. Uh, probably want to jack this thing up in the air too to get access to the sills and the those rear quarters, this side here is also crusty. Looks good from up here, but when you stick your head down, you can see that it's, it's also pretty pretty rough. And I'm sure with all the metals, there's thin and rot rotting out from the inside. Uh, you can see the horror of the whole gong show down there. When you look at the inside, there's nothing left. So like I said, all that's gonna get cut out and replaced. The um, that's the fuel hose that goes from the tank to the filler there. We need to be careful around that when we've got the grinder going. And the welder, you can see the down here is also, this is the other side, pretty rough. Boot floor looks good. The boot looks all right itself. Looks pretty straight actually. It's in some sort of primer. I don't know if there's paint underneath the primer or if this thing's been taken back to bare metal and had a primer put on it I'll find out the the truth of all that at some stage the driver's door looks pretty good the rocker rock is crusty just like the other side muffler there we Use on a future project. But it's all there. It's all pretty good. This floor might be a bit worse than the passenger side. I'm not really sure what's going on underneath his sound deadening stuff. We'll dig into that 
at a later stage of the project and have a look. Seats aren't bolted in, which is great. But probably the most surprising thing about these cars, and this one in particular, is how utterly beautiful the dash is. Like that is, there's a radio, the heater controls, the gauges, headlight switch. These things are all in a really nice nick. Glove box over here. Got some bits and pieces in there. Some sort of a glove box thing. Roof lining shot, but that's okay. All the windows and glass and whatnot's gotta come out anyway, so it'll get changed. The one thing I am concerned about is I don't know how many of these these rubbers, I don't know if you can get them anymore, like if there's if they reproduce them. So I might have to try and look after all these, see if I can get them out without damaging them and preserve them so I can go back in. I don't know, that's a, a job for when I get it apart. So like I said, I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of parts for this. The old owner was quite the collector and he, he did a lot of the hard work sourcing some of the, the trim pieces and whatnot. Got a couple of grills for the front plus the other two cars. I believe that those, the grills in those, I think they're GB glance. I think they, they fit in these and I think they're right actually. I'm not really sure. But like I said, I've got a couple that came with this car. One of the interesting plans for this car is like I said, this is a sentimental build. Back to the first car, this is a GD Galant. And I think the original, the car that we're recreating here was a GC. So this here is a GD tail light, which is original to the car. I don't think it looks too bad actually, but that's not the tail light for this car, it's gonna actually fit these, which are GC taillights. They're actually bigger, which is odd. I normally prefer the small, smaller taillights myself, but you can see it's it's not gonna fit up. And the line, all these holes here in the body are, are different to what the light's gonna accept. So there's gonna be significant modification as part of the rust repair and the, all the body work, I'll, I'll cut this out and then make up a, a template and then change out both sides to accept the, the GC rear end. From looking at photos on the, uh, on the internet and whatnot, it looks like other than the actual tail light, the other the tail light holes, that the rest of it's the same. This, this nice detail here that carries across the boot and this here, it's all the same. This piece here is this, appears to be the same from GC to GD. Uh, all of this is the same behind the rear bar. More questionable, questionable moose. Someone's just slapped that on there and hope for the best. But yeah, so the plan of attack for this car is to start pulling it down. That's, that'll be the first job. Get all the glass out of it, get the seats out of it, get all the panels off it, and start get the car jacked up in the air and start on the rust repair. Figuring out what, what we've got here and come up with a game plan from there. I'm sure there'll be a lot of fun along the way if you know much about these and you wanna offer any, uh, any advice or comment, sing out, keen to hear what some of the other, what some of you experts know, because these aren't, you know, these these are these certainly aren't my normal uh, bread and butter. First, first time I'm really going to dive right into one of these for sure. Okay, well, thanks for watching. 
Sorry, it's a bit of a boring video. It's just a bit of a project overview at this stage, but hopefully there's a bit more excitement later on.